This is my hometown, Greenville, Michigan, birthplace of Meyer, the first superstore where you can buy fresh produce, long johns, condoms, and engine oil, and put it all in the same cart. Population 7,945. Well, sort of outnumbered. 7,941 were not Korean. These are my parents. My dad was the only obstetrician in town, the man who birthed all the babies. He was the oldest of nine children going up on a rice farm in rural Korea. He used to tell me he would walk five miles just to go to school, barefoot, uphill, and in six inches of snow. My mom was the daughter of a high school principal, upper middle class, beautiful and talented. What did she see in the son of a poor country farmer? I think she saw big dreams. This is how old I was when my father told me I was going to be a doctor. You can see that I'm thinking about it. A doctor? Hmm, I don't know. I think I'd rather be a superhero. Yeah, a Korean superhero. Yellow Lantern, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Tony, or maybe Secret Asian Man. As I got older, I lost my looks. The bowl cut, the glasses, and the horrible fashion sense. 100% grade A nerd. Looking at this picture makes me want to kick sand in my own face. And check out that jaw. My God, that ginormous cartoon jaw. After high school, I had an oral surgeon break it and set it back just in time to impress all the women in college. Yes, that was my plan. My plan failed. I went to college and couldn't get a date. Not one. I went zero for four years. So I couldn't wait for medical school. Why? Well, because to me, becoming a doctor meant learning how to help people, impressing my parents, and maybe, just maybe, meeting a woman who could see something in me that no one had before. I never had an aha moment that made me realize I was going to be a doctor. Instead, I experienced an accumulation of many moments. Some walloped me, left me reeling. Others flickered and rolled past like a shadow. They involved teachers, classmates, roommates, friends, family, and patients. Patients who touched me and who troubled me. Patients whose courage changed my life and who taught me how to live as they faced death. And of course, doctors. Doctors who were kind. Doctors who were clueless. Doctors who were burned out. Doctors who sought my opinion. And doctors who shut me down. Each moment felt singular and powerful. They stunned me, enveloped me, awed me, but more often flew right by me unnoticed until days, weeks, months, years later. Until now, this is my book of moments.